Hello, my name is Martha Rinker. I teach math courses at the El Paso Community College, Northwest Campus, and here at Valle Verde. I will be presenting the strategies between an Emporium math classroom versus a traditional math classroom. And by Emporium, I mean through the Teachership Academy, we did this project. What is a math model Emporium style? Okay. An Emporium style math course is that the students do everything on the computer. Okay. The homework, the exams, except the final exam. We still have a paper hard copy. Okay. Um, I don't lecture. I do have a student assistant. We call them tutors. Then they're peer tutors. The students can ask questions anytime they want. Okay. I don't lecture at all. I go around the students. They ask me questions or I, ask, I see that they're struggling. They're taking too long. I ask, would you like some help? How's it going? They do interact a lot with our assistants because you know, it's not so much pressure between an, if you ask a question from an instructor and you have ask a question from the tutor, well, there's kind of peer and so it's not as much involved. Okay. Um, I did, when I was researching, I did find institutions that offer an Emporium model, okay? El Paso Community College, Tarrant Con County Community College, and it's in Texas. And what's interesting is that they did mention UTIP, okay, as a model. Uh, Ivy Tech, Kent State in Ohio, Madisonville Community College in Kentucky, and Missouri. And of course, these are only some of them. Okay, results. Why did I do this project, I wanted to know the difference between completion rates, exam rates, passing rates between an Emporium model and a traditional model. Okay, in the spring of 2011, the Emporium 01, now the 01, 0301 is a developmental course. They're not credit bearing courses. Okay, they're not credit bearing. And as you notice, I only had 7% who didn't complete the course. Okay, in my 0305, which is the third developmental course, here at APCC we have three, 01, 03, 05. Okay, here I had a lot of A's, as you can, as you can see, 41%. In this, and then in my 03, traditional, by traditional I mean I actually lectured. I actually lectured. I did have um, web enhanced though, because my uh, homework assignments were online. And you notice that it's only 36% A's. Okay, also an O3 here, 23%, 15% B's. Uh, so overall, you can see that the important model is very good. It's very effective. Okay, in the O1 class, this is probably the hardest class that the developmental student takes because it's, it's the very first class they take when they come into the college. It's their first, uh, first math course that they take, I mean, it, they're so overwhelmed sometimes that a lot of the students kind of, you know, have a hard time. But the, the big issue with the Emporium is that you can retake a math course and you don't have to start at the beginning, okay? A student only completes certain amount of material for the next semester, it can all be imported. They don't have to start from scratch, which in a traditional class you do, you start from scratch, okay? That's why we really push the Emporium courses, because they can save money. And then also, they can also take other, up to three courses in one semester. They can finish one, start the next one, start the last one. I did have a student in uh, the spring, this past spring, that finished, okay, three courses in one semester. Uh, another course, I had two who finished two courses, and this semester I'm going to have about five who finished two courses. That way it saves them money, which is interesting. Um, again, now, fall 2012 in my traditional, for some reason, okay, the data says that my traditional courses did better in this semester. Again, okay, but as you notice, uh, because it's kind of web enhanced, I do kind of teach Emporium style, and I think that's one of the reasons why the traditional did a little bit better. Okay, spring 2011, student completion rates. By this, I mean that, okay, how many students actually went through the whole course and got a grade? Okay, you notice in this one, 
93%, okay, 89%. The traditional hybrid, only 77, and then in the other traditional hybrid, also 73. And by hybrid, here I mean that it's web enhanced. I do lecture, but the homework is online. Okay, fall 2012 completion rates, if you notice here, for some reason, my traditional did a little bit better. And um, I, after analyzing the data, I finally figured out that um, the reason that some are, are better than others is because it depends on the classroom dynamics. I taught the same, I, it's the same material, I use the same math-based computer programming, which we use uh, Pearson for my math lab. Okay, and Pearson actually did us a favor. They created a program specifically for us. It is tied to the banner, okay, so the students know exactly what they're doing. Um, this is just a quick summary. Um, all it says is that we are doing a developmental course emporium model because we feel that this will enhance the students' experience in the college environment because when they first come in, they're like, what do I do? What is this? And you do need to know a couple of basic computer skills. But even the older students, the returning students after 20 years, they say, you know, I was afraid of the computer, I was afraid of math, but this is so relaxed and I can go ahead and do it at my own pace. And also, I am there and my student assistant tutor is there if they have problems navigating the system. Again, basic computer skills needed. And one of the things that I did highlight is this, as a student once commented, I can pause, rewind, pause, rewind in, to my little heart's content, and then I can continue my own pace. Okay. That is the beauty of an Emporium course. In a traditional course, you have to be there and you have to get through the material, so it doesn't give you, it doesn't allow you time to sit down and talk to the students. I get to know my students a lot more in an Emporium style because I'm walking around, I mean, I know when, when they're due, if they're pregnant, I know uh, the problems they're having, because I say, why didn't you come? Because you get to know, and says, well, you know, uh, my car didn't work, or why are you behind? Well, my internet's down, and then I tell them, I show them the students, you know, there's a student's orientation uh, also, there's a tutoring, there's a lab, you can go anywhere in, on campus and find a computer if you really need it. And in conclusion, you know, the statistical data for EPCC model is very encouraging, okay? I, the conversation between students, they're very enthusiastic, they talk to each other, they help each other as compared in a lecture, do the lecture, that's it, okay? And um, one thing I do wanna say is that seeing them leave their math course without a frown is very heartening for an, inst an instructor, especially in a math course where everybody says, I hate math. And this way, they kind of, a lot of students have told me that, you know, I hated math, but now I like it. I think I can do math. I think I can do, go into a, a field that has math and science, especially the nursing students here. Um, and this is a really short video that I took myself at the Valle Verde campus. This is one of the Emporium classrooms at the Valle Verde campus for El Paso Community College. And this is the computer pro, uh, podium that the instructor has access to. The screen here is utilized as an instructional tool. It projects the image on the instructor's computer screen. And I like this because I have a PC tablet that I can write on. Okay, so anything that I do on my computer tied to the projector and I can give them little mini lectures. Uh, say I noticed because we have varying data in our programming. I can look up who's behind, what, who hasn't taken this exam, who's working on chapter three. Most of the students in some of the sections, the concept is kind of elevated for them in a sense that they have to remember everything they already knew. Okay, so I do give them the mini lectures. That's what that is for. And the little avatar there is um, I give my students instructions through a system called Voki. They're little videos and you give them instructions as opposed to having to write them down or email them or anything. And uh, that is my presentation. Again, it's uh, the math 
Emporium classroom versus the traditional math classroom. And through phase two of the Teachership Academy, El Paso Community College. Thank you.